So the next bottle that you're gonna open so beautifully for me is our Arietta 2017 Hudson Vineyard Merlot. Now this is a combination of a lot of friends and the f a lot of the fabric that makes up Napa these days. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, so we have the owner, which is uh, Fritz and Karen Hatton. And Fritz worked for Christie's Auction House uh, in the wine department. He's also a fantastic auctioneer. Yes, indeed. Um, and he in the and he he loves wine. There's no question. If you've ever met him, <laughs> uh, he is a lover of wine and also classical music. Hence the name Arietta. Uh, this actually comes from a, a Beethoven piece, um, and you can see the the music, uh, the, the sheet music that's on the front. Uh, so it really Very is in iconic, inspired yeah. by by music and his love of music and also paired with John Kongsgaard's love of music, they teamed up mm -hmm. and created Arietta. Um, now the winemaking team uh, in charge of Andy Erickson, I mean it's a household name for Napa Valley, mm -hmm. all the way from, you name it, Screaming Eagle, Della Valle, Marciano, Maya Camas, I mean we can, we can go all day about that, mm -hmm. but uh, his uh, expertise comes into the right uh, pick, the right aging, and, and managing tannin overall. Yes. Now, the last thing and a piece that's crucial for this wine. Right, we've talked about who owns it. We've mm -hmm. talked about who makes it, but where is it grown? Well, this is uh, one of my favorite people in the Valley. Right. It, it is no, no secret, uh, Lee Hudson mm. and Christina, they have this beautiful ranch called the Hudson Ranch. It is as you drive in uh, through, let's say 121 into Napa from Carneros uh, on the right, uh, if you pass them, you'll know because you'll see the main Carneros. But on the left, they have these beautiful flags that kind yes. of uh, always fly high. Uh, what are the flags and what do they mean, Laura? So we have the United States flag in in the center. And then uh, to the to the sides of those, we have the California and Texas flag. Uh, Lee's from Texas. Mm -hmm. He also flies the Mexico flag. Uh, so Christina and the whole his wife and, and many of the people that, yeah. that live and work in Napa Valley. And then there's the fifth flag, which during harvest flies is the Jolly Roger pirate flag. Yes, indeed. Um, and these days, it's actually, I think, flying is a Ukrainian flag. Yes, uh, in indeed. support. So uh, it's, it's a... It's a beautiful property. Um, it it really spans. He has uh, livestock there. He also grows lots of fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. as well as some of the most prized grapes in the Napa Valley. He supplies to almost 30 wineries here in Napa Valley and some signature names like Kongsgard, Aubert, Kistler, Cake Bread, Ramey. Oh, um, all over the Along place. with his own brands of wine. So really yes. one of the, I would say one of the Grand Cru vineyards. Uh, I dare to say, without a doubt, uh, uh, not even arguably. Valley. No. <laughs> um, so Lee came into the valley in the 80s, that's when he purchased the land. Mm -hmm. And then he was really methodical and always learning about soils and exposures and walking the vineyards down with them, especially in this patch where they have the Merlot. Really, uh, they identified like the clay and the, the similarities that there are to parts of like Pomerol, if you will. Sure. So really smartly, and thoughtfully, methodically put the vines in, in, the, in the places, in the right spots. And I think this is a testament of, of the accuracy of the, the land, the hand of the winemaking, and the, the whole style of, of the wine is so beautiful and timeless. Top to bottom, this is a Napa Valley classic with every, um, you know, every component really singing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, it is. It is an orchestra of aromas. Um, a beautiful wine. I, if I may go back into Napa Valley history, uh, Trevina was used to sit in Santa mm -hmm. Lina, used to make an amazing wild rabbit sugo pappardelle. The pappardelle was handmade. The rabbit was braised for hours with red there wine mushrooms, and sage. Right? Mushrooms, right? Oh my God! So this would be an ideal, and I'm sure when in its inception, Fritz and uh, John Consgard sat there and had that dish with this wine in mind. That's what I like to think. <laughs> Beautiful wine uh, for any occasion. Uh, and Merlot definitely singing in all cylinders. It's Merlot, it's a, it's a fully powerful Merlot. It really shows the, the warmth of Napa Valley and, um, and this refined character that, that we create wines mm. with here. But yeah, I think uh, it sounds great with the pasta ragu. All delicious. Chin chin. Cheers.